take a look through behind me. There you see the abandoned Marion Hotel. It's been, uh, it was built about 40 years ago. And uh, in the past six or seven years, it's really faced an increasing state of decay. So today in 2014, actually just two weeks ago, they had an arson at the location, um, which you can see right up there on that side. And the funny thing is, like there's so many curtains blowing in the windows, it really gives that impression of just like decay. The interior is, from the photos I've seen online, unbelievable. But now, just to, a see, your left, <laughs> your right, my left, there is a Toledo um, police department, um, one of the like, little barriers that has like a little blue lights flashing and all the cameras. So like I'm sure like downtown Toledo is watching me standing here doing this, which I'm really glad because it has so many problems uh, with this management and the guys who were in here after the fire said that even a 10 year old could get in, that's how easy it was. And it's crazy the amount of material they also left inside. So it's the Clarion Hotel, a very notorious known location in Toledo, soon to be demolished, um, hopefully sooner than later. I really wanted to capture it before then. I've been kind of reluctant to move the location just because of the nature of it, but I uh, thought I would bring it to you now. So enjoy what I can get. <laughs> Let me remind you, there's a police camera right behind me. Literally. So that's how intense this location is. But I thank you for watching what I could get of the Clarion Hotel right off Reynolds in Toledo. Later. Well, this hotel was built in the 70s, about 40 years ago. It has 271 rooms and 11 stories. You can just imagine when they had the arson and the fire, the person who said it could have still been in there. And uh, basically when the hotel had its issues, they left absolutely everything uh, inside. And uh, the people who have gone in in the past, the photos are just unbelievable. This is the weird thing. Like, imagine if there's homeless people in there right now. You just don't know. Those curtains up there. Right there we go. Very, very eerie vibe. I mean, when you drive by this area, they're right to say it's an eyesore and to uh, clear it out and make room for some new development. You can just imagine how important that is. 
because uh, it does give a pretty poor impression. It's unbelievable how bad it's gotten. There's that curtain below. There's the other one. Oh no, I'm still too high. There we go. I mean, that's just plain eerie.